The one and only voice of VRW commentary. This is the one and only Grandissimo, and thank you, VRW Riots, Warmongers, and Warbeaters, for helping us reach 150 plus subscribers on our YouTube. It is a tremendous achievement for us here at VRW, and a huge thank you to everyone who supports us and everything we do here in the war zone and we are kicking things off tonight with a very early rehearsal for the carnival of violence this is the carnival frenzy match a match that would normally guarantee you an opportunity to challenge for a world championship at the ultimate frenzy this is scar making his vrw war zone debut in such a wonderful way, but look at who he's gonna go up against first! And introducing the war monitor who drew number two from Miami, Florida, representing the Pearl King Later on tonight, the War Mains will have themselves a carnival frenzy match too. But not just that, every Warmonger champion will be battling in a frenzy match, much like every War Mains champion will be battling in a frenzy match, all with a huge opportunity for a prize outside of VRW Warzone Worth while a spirit, a VRW veteran who has basically been here since day one. Looking to represent the Broken Kingdom here tonight with all the issues that have been swelling with him, AJ, Marissa, and American Terror. Tonight they don't have to worry about anything. They've got the road to Mayhem to worry about to deal with the final issues, and this match is now underway. And this is the first time many of you are witnessing the VRW. Debut of Scar hailing all the way from Salem. A interesting sight, need to say the least. Ace Barrett not knowing anything about this particular warmonger. He's gonna have himself a little bit of issue, but the quick 30 second intervals already out. Here comes Jason Ramirez and off the middle rope. A drop kick from Scar to Ace Barrett and now taking it to the former VRW Warzone champion himself. Two former VRW Warzone champions and a fresh new talent in Scar. And so far the man is doing quite alright for himself. But again you've got veterans like Ace Barrett who's been in VRW since day one. Jason Ramirez 
may as well be a pioneer when it comes to the VRW Warzone Championship. Held it for almost half a year. Number four coming out. One half of New Dawn is Big Tito. And next week at the Road to Mayhem pay-per-view, him and his partner Bobby Bass are going to be battling for the VRW Warzone Tag Team Championships, trying to take them for American Strong Style. And being a big man in a match like this where your size is definitely going to matter. Considering that you have to be thrown over the top row, both feet touching the floor. Number five. And it is the former VRW Digital Media Champion Kennedy Reed. Now out here in the ring. Oh, misses with the Pele. Scar paying him no mind. And Ace Bear dropping Big Tito off of that neck breaker and taking things back to Scar, who is holding his own right now against a former world champion. Then there's Kennedy Reed, who's been trying to find himself a fast break back to a matter of importance after losing the Digital Media Championship off of his first title defense, trying to recover something. Number six, Cody Hagen. This will be his second. BRW Mats is joining the company, going straight after Kennedy Reed. Boss Man Slam by Big Tito. Now going toe to toe with someone who's almost as powerful as he is, Cody Hagen. Off the sit out Alabama slam to Big Tito. Like I said, size and power definitely matters in a match like this. DDT! To Tito, number seven on the way, and it is the VRW Wow Zone Champion Mason Rex looking to lay down the law of the nation of terror here. But Katie Reed going straight out to our world champion. The headlines that would read Katie eliminating Mason Rex. From the rehearsal of the Carnival Frenzy not set to air for another couple of months at the Carnival of Violence pay-per-view. Double knees by Jason Ramirez, number eight. He is a man that is looking to defeat Jason Ramirez. Next week at the Road to Be Hip pay-per-view, Damian Shelley a p &D. Immediately getting laid out by the world champions now having to deal with Ace Barrett coming in from behind prepared into a backbreaker and it's only going off of the issues that Barrett has been having with American Terror as of late a little bit of interruptions but Barrett back onto the mission hand tossing Rex over the top rope and still able to find a way out and Barrett eliminated the champion Ace Barrett has eliminated Mason Rex from the Carnival Frenzy is the first elimination. And that only spells a recipe of disaster. Heading into the Road to Mayhem pay-per-view. A huge momentum boost for Ace Bear to say the least. Rex is irate at the moment. Meanwhile you have Number one contender, Big Tito, and KD Reed now eliminated by the newcomer Scar. Two eliminations, 22 more to join the Carnival Frenzy. Number nine on the way. He is the psychopath, the brother of Tory, Tom Doyle here, looking to destroy anything in his way Doyle set the face off against Alex Haas next week at the Road to Mayhem pay-per-view and we're sure to be a very physical match between these two and Jason Ramirez who originally had Doyle help him out in his schemes against Damian Shelley and Barrett getting laid out now Cody Hagen going out there, Damian Shelley throw off of the shoulders of Big Tito. Barrett in trouble. Ramirez trying to eliminate the man. Number 10 on the way. He is a member of American Terror. 
David Blaze is here. And Barrett having another of American Terry to contend with. But Blaze going straight after the former world champion. Has him up on his shoulders and slams him down with a spinning power bomb. Cody Hagen overpowering Big Tito. And Tom Doyle taking out Hagen. Going back after Ramirez. Who drops Doyle off the dragon suplex? And now it's Ace Barrett going straight after Ramirez. Squares him with a drop kick to the chest. David plays now with a spirit in his sights. Now has him up in the corner trying to eliminate the man who eliminated the leader of American Terror. David plays so close. Bear holding on for dear life. But Bear continuing to fight out and he does. And now, oh, cheap shot from Cody Hagen. Now from behind is Big Tito. And now David Blaze gets it over the top rope. But Hagen again. Saving David Blaze. And now a double team to bury off that double DDT. And now Ramirez spinning Aranagi. Oh. Trying to go for that shooting star splash. And the knees came up. Cody Hagen from behind. Little turncoat action. And oh. Bear trying to take out Hagen. And from the top, oh, a German suplex to Shelly. And Tom Doyle, no one is saving a match like this. And Barrett eliminating Tom Doyle for the Carver Frenzy. That's now two eliminations for Ace Barrett from behind. David plays again. Trying to intervene in it. What's going on with Ace Barrett in his matchup here? And once again, German suplex. To Barrett as David Blaze trying to call the shots, get some payback. And oh, there's a trump card! And a draw kick to Ramirez! Meanwhile, Big Tito almost eliminating Scar, who is still in this matchup, coming out as number one. And Barrett going straight back after Jason Ramirez, despite. Oh, there's an elimination! Scar eliminating Cody Hagen. Back and forth. This matchup continues here. Number 11 on the way out. Oh! Again, no one is safe. Number 11. Benaya, one half of the Iron Renegades. Coming out to aid. Benaya and his endeavors against PNG with Xavier and Crace. Benaya bringing in an old friend and ally to the equation. Meanwhile, part of the issue that Benaya had with PND, Damian Shelley going after Jason Ramirez now. Number 12 on the way. Ramirez and Shelley battling back and forth. Sent on the big Tito. And Ramirez, number 12. Jackson Helms of the Helms Dynasty. And again, Blaze and Barrett battling back and forth. Oh! Jackson Helms with the high risk. And there's Ramirez again running the interference. And Scar now sending Blaze into the corner. Turns his attention to Big Tito. Who plants? Oh no! Barrett eliminated Ramirez! Ace Barrett with now three eliminations. Now trying to go for our fourth big T up on the top rope. But the big husk of a man surviving for dear life. Find some separation. And oh! Big shot to the midsection! Larry not taking him down, however. Turns the attention back to David Blaze and Ace of Speeds! Ace of Speeds connects! Blazes down and Barrett going back after Big Tito. And Jackson Helms with a little bit of assistance here. Barrett now going after Panaya. And Damian Shelley off the springboard. But now was home. And again, David Blaze going straight back after Ace Barrett. Trying to hoist him over the top of a bit. Hanging on and drops over the DDT. I believe number 13. Is on the way. He is the United Revolution Champion. K 
Cam Hardy, who is set for a title versus title affair against digital media champion Ryan Warzone next week at the Royal to Mayhem pay-per-view, going straight at the star. And now off to Big Tito with that ripcord knee. And now taken down, Jackson Helms. Cam Hardy is on fire. Now with a possible elimination on the mind. And now, oh no, no, no! Hang on for dear life, Jackson Helms! Jackson Helms has eliminated Cam Hardy! And now David Blaze eliminating Helms! Very unfortunate for the United Revolution champion to be eliminated so soon. Meanwhile, Scar and Ace Barrett, the first two warmongers in this match, still in this matchup surviving. And Blaze once again tried to sneak shot Barrett. Now throwing him over the top rope, but from behind, Damian Shelley. And now Barrett having to regroup here. Oh, shot to the midsection to David Blaze. Now, oh, kick to the midsection again. And David Blaze, super kick to the knee. Back flipping over to a German suplex. As the next warmonger on his way out. Number 14, the man of steel himself, Marty Martin, is here in the car of a frenzy. David Blaze trying to sneak Martin as soon as he gets into the ring here. Now Morton locking things up with David Blaze. Blaze now trying to hoist him over. Meanwhile, oh! And now a close line over the top rope. Sky with his third elimination. Tie with a spirit. And Marty Morton trying to go for a Uranagi. Number 14 on the way. I'm sorry, number 15. He is the technical titan. Jay Spencer. Heading into the combo frenzy. Meanwhile, Marty Morton almost eliminating. David Blaze and Big Tito. Big Tito. Tulsi Barrett over the top rope. Newton eliminating a member of the Broken Kingdom. This sets their standards a bit higher. Momentum shift in the game going after the World's Tag Team Championships next week. David Shelley surviving disaster from Marty Morton now going after David Blaze of American Terror of the Northern Lights Suplex still hanging on. Number 16 on the way. He is a holder of the plan for gold. Austin Storm set to go one on one with Raymond Page at the Royal to Mayhem pay per view. Going straight out to Big Tito now. The overpowered German suplex by the technical Titan. Overhead belly to belly by Tito. As Jay Spencer now fighting an escape here. A reverse choke slam to Marty Morton. David Blaze will chop up number 17. One half of the Charm City Kings. Brandon Ace is here in the crowd of frenzy. But from behind, quickly already is Jay Spencer. More than halfway through this matchup now, it is literally anyone's game, but the bigger advantage. Goes to those who haven't even joined the matchup just yet. And Ace Barrett dropping the former double champion on the top rope here. And a huge suplex by Jay Spencer. Big Tito now going after Austin Storm. And a powerful scoop power slam. And oh! Spencer over the top rope and still hanging on. Damian Shelley almost with the elimination. And oh! Swift kick to the midsection, and now Cindy Morton into the corner, got caught with a big elbow. And Marty Morton now has him up over his shoulders. Oh! Robin Shelley is going after anybody and anything that's moving. And now at the springboard drop kick. Brandon Ace sets his side on Austin Storm momentarily as the 
Here's a slap and now going into Big Tito and Jay Spencer sends him into the rose of Big Tito now over Pario. Cuts good neck breaker by Brandon Ace. It's Big Tito now. He caught with that back elbow from Jay Spencer. Now a knee to the next section here. Grip to the nape of the neck. This is bad for Jay Spencer, the much larger Big Tito. Trying to end this man's night in this matchup. Over the top rope, he went, but still hanging on by a thread right now. It's Spencer going after the shins of Big Tito. Finds an escape and finds his next target. Being David Blay sitting into the corner. Another shot here. Choke slam power bomb to Brandon Ace. And another power bomb by. David Blaze and Damian Shelley has eliminated Scar. And Shelley turns his attention to David Blaze. German suplex. But from behind, suplex by Morton. And David Blaze has been eliminated by a man of steel. And now Austin Storm going after Morton is a knee. Big Tito rocked in days. Back to back eliminations. Shattered memory to G Spencer. And now Storm with his sights set on Brandon Ace. Off the reverse DDT. And Big Tito coming back to his senses here. Overhead belly to belly. This match is completely insane. Imagine the carnage will see at the Carnival of Violence pay-per-view in two months time. Next entrant on the way. And he is the leader of American Strong Style. Danny Wells is here to represent. Going straight after the Man of Steel, but from behind. Oh! Tried to go for that discus. Larry was Marty Morton. From behind is Big Tito. However, the strength and power off of that inverted suplex. And Danny Wells now caught in the corner with Damian Shelley. Trying to go for the elimination. Jay Spencer trying to take down Big Tito. Marty Morton going at the Spencer. Down he goes. Number 19. Another new phase in the war zone. This is Butch Avalanche. This man is a behemoth to say the least. The next largest man in his ring. Shattered memory to Brandon Ace. Butch Avalanche going after Danny Wells. The explosiveness of the size of this man. Being able to shrug off Marty Morton is insane. Look at this man go. Driving the knees into the midsection here. Morton able to shrug him off this time. Meanwhile, Danny Wells battling with the former American Revolution champion, the former Soul Survivor champion. Oh! Off that capture suplex. And now going after Big Tito is Danny Wells. Now trying to drag him along here, but Damian Shelley running a little bit of interference. A little bit of assistance here is Shelley and Big Tito. Look at that strength of Jay Spencer. Are you kidding me? Technical tape my ass. This man is strong as hell. As Spencer tried to go back after Danny Wells. And now from behind. Stuck with a European on a cut with a face first into the knees of Austin Storm. This match could literally go any way here. Marty Morton now trained up over the ropes and over the top he goes. Danny Wells first elimination now going back after Jamie and Shelley. Now going after Big Tito tripping him up by the legs. Butch Avalanche now trying to eliminate Austin Storm. They would have caught it to our best DT. Brandon Ace. Almost getting the elimination on Jay Spencer. And from behind Spencer now. Dragon suplex for Austin Storm. And Butch Avalanche sending Danny Wells into the corner. Gets met with a backstabber. Carnage all over the ring. Big knee to Butch. Austin Storm setting his sights. Oh, off the head. But the strength of Austin Storm pulling him in too. A Saito suplex. Now going after Danny Wells. There's a takedown. And a lariat to boot. 
And another Saito suplex. Austin Storm is on fire. And yet another elimination is on the way. Number 20. Another member of PNJ Summer kick over the top row. Spencer is out. KJ Hunter is in. Spear! Taking a page out of KJ's book at Spear by Damian Shelley to Diddy Wells by Big Tito. Overpowering Shelley. Going straight out to Brandon Ace. Almost launching him over the top rope. And going straight out to KJ Hunter now. Stuck in the corner. And now Hunter able to counter. A big knee. Run table with a bulldog. And now Shelly to Brandon Ace. No! Dropping him on the back of his head and neck. Off of that pile driver. Shelly not knowing what to do here. Going straight after Austin Storm. Telling him to bring it. And now that's exactly what he's going to do. He's just sitting over the top rope. Storm with two eliminations now. Number 21. Another member of PND. Jacob Baker. If only it got out here sooner. Shelly would still be in the match. And all three current members. Shelly now having to focus on his matchup. His high stakes match with Jason Ramirez next week at the Road to Mayhem. If Jason loses, he leaves VRW. But if Damian loses, he has to fall in line. Allow Ramirez to run PNT. And Jacob Baker, KJ Hunter. Two opposing sides, all part of the same team! Silver can go over the top row, Austin Storm, however! Can't lock in the elimination, Jacob Baker! Pile driver! The next elimination, however, the next entry! Ray Everett has returned! After weeks of soul searching, Everett is back, tossing Big Tito over the top rope. But the man has left PND. He is a man all on his own. And oh, JD Wells surviving the elimination attempt from Austin Storm. Butch Avalanche trying to send Big Tito away. And Tito gets dropped on the back of his head and neck by Jacob Baker. It's Ray Everett, former tag team partner to the elimination. Everett eliminating Jacob Baker. There's only one sole member of PND left in this match, and that is KJ Hunter. Tito over the German suplex to Austin Storm. Now going after his former lifeline partner and Ray Everett. But the two largest men in this matchup still right now is Big Tito and Butch Avalanche. You can sit over the top row. Big Tito trying to eliminate the man. And he does. Butch Avalanche eliminated by Big Tito. Look at how straight that power. The slightest of ease. And Austin Storm trying to score his fourth elimination here. But Brandon Ace fighting it through. Number 23, Michael Carter. The Charm City Kings in full circle here. And I'm really taking him down. It's Big Tito. Completely turned the tables. Big Tito competing for the most powerful man in this match right now. And Big Tito gets dropped with an airy crash. And here's some assistance. Brandon Ace and KJ Hunter trying to eliminate Danny Wells. Over the top of he goes and he's hanging on. Number 24. The second longest reigning Souls of Iron Champion in history, Karan Cook, the Red Dawn. And this match has just picked up big business. And Michael Carter trying to get that elimination, but from behind was Danny Wells in the top block. Now going at the Karan Cook now. Big Tito! Again using his size and power as a very offensive attack. 
Now trying to squeeze alive in a spear to KD Hunter! Hunter getting dropped with a spear but a kick to the midsection of Everett. Gonna send him over the top rope and he's out! Payback for using his own move from KJ Hunter and Austin Storm trying to deal with them. Brandon Ace! Dropping cut with a pile driver. Austin Storm sending KJ Hunter. And there goes Danny Wells! Big T.I. again with another big confidence booster. Heading into the road to make him. Not just eliminating a spear, but eliminating the leader of American Strong Style. Danny Wells is out of this match. And Brandon Ace off the clothesline. Now off the satellite DDT to Austin Storm. And now off the springboard drop kick. Oh! Every man for himself. Brandon Ace with the drop kick to his own partner. And KJ is going to make the save for himself here. Here comes the next. Engine number 25 is Vinny. Another powerhouse amongst the BRW Warmongers. We got powerhouses. Big Teal with the power slam to Michael Carter. Well, being overpowered by Vinny is insane. But I'll say it's gone. Shattered memory. But KJ, are you kidding me? Wild heart to Michael Carter. Number 26 on the way. Really power slam. Number 26 is Jason Thomas. Who is picked up by time and error in order to revitalize his career. Oh! A technical marvel. To say the least, who is trying to get back on the right track here in VRW to regain his throne. Being the king of the war zone, the man has not been able to get himself back into tip peak performance. And Brandon Ace, oh! Moving out of the way to drop kick. His eyes now set on Austin Storm, however, Dragon Super will save back to Ron Cooker. Big Tito! Still is running rough shot over this Carnival Frenzy match. So much action in so little time. With these quick 30 second intervals that happen. Supposed to happen consistently here. However, oh over the top rope! Michael Carter eliminated Brandon Ace! Shots were fired by Brandon at first. And Michael now just sealing the deal. Trying to pursue big things for himself here in BRW. Now going after Karan Cook, but from behind is Jason Thomas. Now kicks. Ooh. Jason Thomas. Oh, being dropped down by Big Tito. From behind, however. Oh, get to the midsection. Jason Thomas, a little bit of misdirection here. These guys are just so damn powerful. Michael Carter and Big Tito. Carter trying to send Jason Thomas over the top rope. Thomas trying to do the same, being met with some elbows from Michael Carter. And just look out, Tossy Thomas! Over that super, and here's Austin Storm. Austin Storm locking the arms and the knee underneath of the jaw. Choke slam power ball by Big Tito. Why has nobody been able to stop this man? Number 27, Brim Goodwin! The contemporary tag team partner, Jason Thomas. Going straight after Big Tito, one of the biggest men in this match right now. The man who's been tearing apart this frenzy. Pretty sure the man himself is at three eliminations. And Jason Thomas finding the escape from the power upon attempt! Now going straight after Betty is Jason Thomas. Big time drop kick off in Storm. And Thomas now taking it straight to Betty. Locking it up. Pump hit on right to the neck breaker. And now, oh! Dropping him. Tried to go for the stunner there. 
KJ Hardy still in the ring. And Austin Storm eliminated Big T. And then Thomas Arnold eliminated. Oh, KJ Hunter eliminating Michael Carter. Both of the biggest men in this match have been eliminated. And now a combination to Oh! Jason Thomas trying to double team against his tag team partner. But like he said, every man for himself here. No one can be mad about that one. The Karate Cock! Off the inverted suplex. Trying to go for a pile driver. KJ Hunter able to counter. And a choke out submission. Locked in by Karan Cook. And Bram finding the escape. Number 29 on the way. The Warmongers Carnival Frenzy almost coming to a close here. Number 28, Alex Haas. The genocidal genius is here. The juggernaut. A VIW. Obviously having some issues with KJ Hunter. Back in that number one contenders match to face off against Cam Hardy for the United Revolution Championship where KJ did a very good job, but it would be Cam Hardy to survive his championship affair. Number 29 on the way. Gustavo! One half of Guerrero Del Sol! He came very close to becoming the number one contenders for the Warzone Tag Team Championships alongside his brother, Esteban. And Austin Storm tossing him over the top rope. But still hanging on. Austin Storm, ooh, getting caught with that chop block. Now Haran Cook with a stiff forearm. Now great counter by Gustavo, look out! Gustavo. Going straight after Austin Storm now. Big into Gurry. Straight to the temple. KJ Hunter. Super kick. Taking down Gustavo. There's only one war manga left to join this match. Bram Goodwin being set up by Alex Haas and Jason Thomas. And out from behind is Gustavo. Sending Austin Storm into the corner. Back up with an elbow. Another one. Now trying to go for that. You're a Nagi. Oh! Spinning powerbomb by KJ Hunter. And Karan Cook. A little bit of a sense it's from Alex Haas with a double TDT. And KJ Hunter getting met with an elbow from Jason Thomas. Kick to the midsection again. Now locking things up, trying to drag him along. Jason Thomas fighting off for dear life. Finding the escape. Oh! A little bit of assistance. And KJ going for a ride. So much carnage in this ring. Ooh. And now Gustavo being sent over the top rope. But still hanging on is Austin Storm now going after Jason. Thomas who gets met with a drop kick from Gustavo. And a half and half suplex. From behind. Ooh. Tried to go for a German. And Betty now turning his sights back on Gustavo. But from behind is KJ Hunter. And from behind again is Karan Cook. Meeting him with some elbows, however. Breaking separation. And KJ setting up Bram Goodwin with a wild hunt. But Karan, Karan is stuck up on the top rope. Hang it on with Betty trying to make the elevation so close now. Teetering now. Zay could it hang on tight a 630 splash to Austin Storm and Karan Cook with a stiff forearm to the back of the head and neck Zeddy is down KJ is down Alex Haas with the trifecta to put Jason Thomas down and now Karan Trying to eliminate KJ from the corner. Bram trying to eliminate Gustavo from the corner. And out goes KJ Hunter by Karan Cook. And Bram Goodwin couldn't get the elimination on Gustavo from the corner. 
However, back slide driver for Broku and I'll take it down out of Haas. And Haas having his face raked out up on the shoulders is Bram. And now over the top rope, Jason Thomas almost with the elimination and Alex Haas. And now Bram with a stiff drop kick. Alex Haas locking in a submission. And the match for tapping out doesn't even matter. The man's just trying to hurt Jason Thomas as prime. As Bram Goodwin getting caught with an elbow. Taking the elbow. Haas got taken down with another one. Karan Cook tried to go for that running power slam. But Bram was able to counter. Number 30. Who's it gonna be? Xavier Crace. The other half. Of the Iron Renegades. Austin Storm locking in the American Clutch. Shots fired to Mason Rex. From Fetty. Able to find an escape. And Karan Cook. Stepping down on the arm. Of Xavier here. Ooh. Stiff elbow. And Jason Thomas has up. Gustavo with a running power bomb. Shattered Ribery. And a big drop kick to Jason Thomas from Bram. Got caught with an elbow. And Austin Storm now. Gonna send Bram over the top rope. Oh! Double boots in the face of Austin Storm. Meanwhile, Alex Haas teetering on the top rope. Really power slam. And now from behind. Oh! Big inverted suplex on Karan Cook. To his former rival, Jason Thomas, Alex Haas, reminiscing on that match. Back at Capital, Anarchy with Austin Storm. A Vetti, however, in the corner, trying to eliminate the king of the war zone. Jason Thomas being launched over it. Oh, it's eliminated by Vetti. We are down to the final seven. Vetti. Xavier Crates, Austin Storm, Bram Goodwin, Karan Cook, Alex Haas, and Gustavo. Off the springboard, DDT! Haas now, getting dropped with a plump handle neck breaker. And now, shattered memory! To Bram Goodwin, shattered memory! To Karan Cook! And a spear by Fetty! Fetty is in control now. Locking in the legs. Oh, and a brain buster by Gustavo! To Alex Haas, who turns his attention to Xavier Kreese. Makes him with a drop kick. And he got ran into a German suplex. And now it's Gustavo. Trying to eliminate Vetti in the corner. Alex Haas with a stiff elbow to Bram Goodwin here. Neck breaker. Delivered by Xavier Crace is still hanging on. It's Bram Goodwin who slides underneath of the bottom rope here. Super kick. Oh, the combination from Crace and Austin Storm. Now Austin turns his attention back to Gustavo. Lines him up. Oh, up over the top of him. Super kick takes him out. Down to the final six now. Austin Storm off of his fourth elimination. And a super kick. Delivered to Vetti. And Austin Storm blocking a spear. Attempt by Karan Cook. But from behind, half and half suplex rate counter by Austin Storm. But from behind, Xavier Crace locking him up. Pretty sure that was a piece 13. And Raymond Page isn't even in the match. Crace playing the mind games and now hitting it again. This time to Bram. And now, oh, tried to scoop slam him. Austin Storm with a counter. And now Fetty trying to send out Bram Goodwin. Over. Double boots to the face. Elbow from behind is Bram. Off the spring. Boy, oh, no moonsault. Taking down Austin Storm, however. Here comes Karan Cook. 
trying to break the kneecaps of Bram Goodwin. Here comes the combination. Stubble suplex from Grayson Cook. SB again! This time it's on toss. Trying to stand toe to toe. Oh! Can sit into the collision course here. Catch a suplex, however! And now Haas turning his attention to Betty in the corner. Oh! Slamming him down, turns his attention to Gustavo. And Gustavo being sent into the corner. Bram Goodwin trying to go blow for blow against Austin Storm. Locking in, trying to go for a flatliner. Up on the top row, however, Xavier and Kreis is teetering now. Alex Haas trying to force that elimination. And Austin Storm going to send, oh, misdirection. And Alex Haas now. Draymond Austin Storm over the top rope. Austin about to go for a wide table and suplex over the top rope by Alex Haas. Haas having the number of Austin Storm. And now Vetti being sent into the corner. Bram Goodwin in pursuit has it locked in. Trying to eliminate him. And a bicycle kick from Alex Haas. Up on the top rope power. Bram trying to eliminate Vetti. Man is so close, yet so far, Vetti able to free himself. Half clutch suplex from Alex Haas as Vetti now, oh, trying to drive the knees into the chest and stern of a Bram. But he's shot too. Drop kicked up Alex Haas, however. Haas gonna make him pay. But Karan Cook tossing him over the top rope. Haas able to bring his legs up. To save himself from being eliminated, got met with an elbow. Oh! Dropping a face first over the knee. Still hanging on to him though. Tossing him over the top rope. This time now, again! Haas saving himself. Felt the presence of the elimination. And leaps into a close line. And a spear by Vetti! And Bram Goodwin trying to fight off the assault. From Xavier Crazy who gets sent over the top row by Fetty. Down to the final four. Springboard into the forearm. Alex Haas, Fetty, Xavier Crace, Karan Cook, Xavier Crace now driving the elbows into the ribs and midsection of Alex Haas. And now wrenching away at the arm here. Kicks up the legs, kicks all over the body now. Look at Xavier Crace go. And a drop kick to Karan Cook. Trey gets attention and focus back on Alex Haas. Kicks in the midsection. Trying to shake this man down. And again. Xavier and Craze now trying to set things up here from behind, however. Karan Cook off the top block. And now targeting Vetti. Launching him over the top row. But a poison runner. Crace had elimination stolen from him from Karan Cook. We are down to Xavier and Crace, Alex Haas, Karan Cook. Rehearsals for the Carnival Frenzy match. Lung blower by Alex Haas. Oh, off the backbreaker. Still with a hold of Xavier and Crace. Looking for that trifecta. And Haas. Misses with that drop kick. Oh, and a spinning roundhouse heel kick. Haas is dazed. Xavier and Chris on top of the action right now. And now looking for that mushroom stop. and got caught with a power bomb. An amazing counter from Karan Cook, but from behind. Alex Haas now being sent over the top rope, we are down to the final two! Former American Revolution Champion, former Soul Survivor Champion, Karan Cook, Xavier Crace, off of that stiff discus forearm! This is either man's game at this moment. 
Xavier and Crazy and Karan Cook returning to the war zone at separate times. And now Xavier and Crazy trying to battle for supremacy here over Karan Cook. Over the top rope. Cook still holding on. Cook still holding on. But blasting the knee of Xavier and Crazy. Back in the ring. Got caught with that spinning heel kick. Cook is dazed. Xavier and Crace launching him over the top row. Knocks him off. Xavier and Crace wins the Carnival Frenzy. The winner of the Carnival Frenzy, Xavier Crace. Xavier and Crace representing the Iron Renegades coming through with an amazing performance at the final hour. Coming off of that springboard satellite DDT, the action when it was down to the final seven. Austin Storm was going on a memory shuddering spree. First Abraham, then to Karan Cook, but then got planted with a spear by Vetti, cutting off that momentum. Then later on, when it was down to the final six, the combination of the final two, Karan Cook and Xavier Crease to Alex Haas. And a big spear by Karan Cook to Vinny, showing that even he can throw a spear at any moment, given. And Karan Cook would then get dropped by the same juggernaut of VRW, Alex Haas. Then down to the final four, Karan Cook stealing the shine and thunder from Xavier and Craze getting the elimination set up by Craze getting Vinny out to set up the final two. Craze was not having it at that point, but down to the final two, Karan saving himself from disaster. Then getting met with that spinning back heel kick. Only for Xavier and Craze to get his kit back. It eliminated Karan Cook. From the Iron Renegades, Xavier Crease has won the Carnival Frenzy. Set for an amazing championship unification match next week against Cora Lee. Title versus title. TV championship versus gift of valor tonight. BB is going to get a small taste of what it's going to be like competing in the ring with Cora Lee. And her 
Holland from Chicago. She is the BRW Duke of Valor champion, Cora Lee. Cora Lee feeling completely disrespected at the fact that the television championship was reintroduced in BRW. She warned the Don. She told the Don that she wanted to put the Gift of Valor Championship back on the map like it used to be. And now it's come down to a championship unification match next week at the Road to Mayhem. Now it's adding from El Paso, Texas, representing the Atomic Bomb Shield One Hat with the BRW Women Tag Team Champion, Blondie Bombshell. Blondie Bombshell appearing to you for the last time as the VRW Women Tag Team Champions as Alice Cherry Bomb was having to relinquish it due to injury. Blondie Bombshell is now attempting to find some last minute glory for the Atomic Bronze. From Sandlon, Puerto Rico, she is the holder of the plan for gold, Ivy Lopez. Ivy Lopez holding a plan for gold, meaning at any point in time, she could catch that championship in for an opportunity for a championship match of her choosing. Whether it be the World Championship, Tag Team Championships, Gift of Valor, or TV, whichever survives, the championship unification. Truthfully, she is a war maiden who is in control of so much power, much like our world champion. Sammy Stone set to take on longtime rival Jada Storm next week at the Road to Mayhem pay per view. Jada Storm is the number one contender. Jada and Sammy both have such turbulent history dating back towards the first ever War Maiden's Own the Throne tournament. We're in the finals. It was Sammy Stone and Jada Storm meeting in the main event of that tournament. And Sammy Stone was able to defeat the undefeatable Jada Storm. Months and years later, Sammy Stone now is a champion in her own right. Here we go. Champions Royale, Champions Frenzy, all for the sake of bragging rights. And Cora Lee, BB Cash, Sammy Stone, such an important schedule to keep to next week. All three of those war mans are in such important matches. Unification matches in a world championship main event. Unfortunately for Blondie Bombshell, no longer having to fulfill the obligations of a tag team champion. The championships will be on the line next week, and Blondie Bombshell will not be in the match competing for them. In fact, it will be the Undisputed Elite, Absolution, and the Birds of Prey all battling to climb the ladder and take down the championships it is a tag team frenzy ladder match for the VRW War Man Tag Team Championships next week at the Road to Mayhem pay-per-view and from behind Sammy Stone with a dragon suplex and a swift roundhouse in the face by BB Cash trying to take down Ivy with a clothesline here comes Blondie Bombshell off that suplex toss, tried to go for a discus, big boot, bloody bombshell. Off the single leg takedown. And now face to face with fellow blonde Sammy Stone, wrestling for control here, up on the shoulders. Blondie bombshell going for a line draped onto the top rope. Meanwhile, on the outside of the ring, like I said, a preview of what's to come next week between Corley and BB Cash and Ivy Lopez not trying to be left out of any kind of equation here tonight. And Ivy Lopez 
about to get rammed into the barricade by BB and Cora Lee trying to one up BB Cash, trying to force her to fight in between her and Ivy Lopez. He gets dropped with a neck breaker. And BB having a multitask here now, sending Cora to the side. Oh, switch shot. Meanwhile, inside the ring, Sammy Stone with a stiff right hand into the cover, hooking the leg to be a superior champion. A kick out. And Cora! Oh! Ivy Lopez with that discus big boot. Now in the hole with a drop kick from Sammy. Now climbing all the way to the middle of the rope here. Trying to go for a splash for Blondie. Who out of the way. And again on the outside. Cora Lee and BB Cash. Trying to spill some blood. Meanwhile, cover inside the ring. And Sammy Stone leaving a kick out now from behind. Ivy Lopez getting clocked with an elbow from Blondie Bombshell. Has her up on her shoulders. Blondie Bomber. On the cover. And Sammy Stone breaking up the pin. So far, BB having the upper hand against Cora Lee rolls into a stunner and a stiff kick from Blondie Bombshell. And Cora now going to pick up the pieces here. Cover inside the ring. However, Ivy Lopez trying to steal it. And Cora Lee having to change her directory. Oh, and there's a spinning roundhouse. Cora Lee now trying to get the cover, Sammy Stone. Making a save and BB cash out. Turns her attention to Sammy Stone. Blondie Bombshell came in with a kendo stick. Now wrestling for control. Taken down. BB Cash. Ivy Lopez keeping her eye on Blondie Bombshell. Oh, the cross body. But from behind again. BB taken down. Oh, Blondie. Snapping away at the neck here. Now climbing all the way to the top rope. Wants to fly. Too much distance, however. And sweeping underneath to the leg was Blondie Bombshell. Meanwhile, on the outside of the ring, Ivy Lopez and the champion, the world champion, Sammy Stone. And now, oh! Swift kick to the midsection, Blondie Bombshell. in a attack mode right now, trying to go for a bully choke. Submissions cannot be counted on the outside. Pinfall submissions will gain you a fall inside the ring. Blondie Bronson just trying to choke the life of uh, Ivy Lopez, who is starting to get up now. Driving the elbows in the midsection, breaking the hold. And now, oh! Move to the side. Blondie Bronson. And Sammy Stone with a spit out power bomb. Double team by BB and Blondie. And now going back and forth, catching the midsection. Elbow. Oh! Nasty combination from BB Cash taking down Bloody Bombshell and Blondie tripping up the world champion. And now the takedown of Cora Lee again trying to not to be a footnote in the realm of champions within the War Man's division. And up on the shoulders, BB gets blasted with a knee and falling on the steel chair on the outside. Almost getting sent into the steel steps then. And now Ivy Lopez tossing her around from behind. Sammy tossing Ivy into the barricade. And now tossing BB aside. And now tossing her against the ringside area here. And tossing everybody around. World champion Sammy Stone. Off that roundhouse kick. BB now sending Cora Lee away. Spiking her face first onto the floor. And now it's flatliner to Ivy Lopez. And this is the stuff of legends if you're Sammy Stone scaling all around the ring just to get the bloody bombshell. Shoving her down. Showcasing supremacy here. And now sending her into the barricade again. Sammy Stone operating on a whole other level at the moment. Meanwhile, on the other side of the ring, snap suplex. By the holder of the plan for gold, Ivy Lopez, who honestly could cash that in tonight on either champion that's out here right now. Meanwhile, Sammy Stone, kendo stick in hand, and going after BB, blasting her with shot after shot. Sammy Stone, who has been frustrated lately. But the fact that Jada Storm has been disrespecting her, I believe that Sammy has been feeling disrespected 
ever since she won the VRW Women's Championship. The series has battled against adversity for over the past two years of being in VRW, becoming the first ever Queen of the War Zone. Not kind of accolade. Does it come? Oh! Dropping BB. I think the back of her, her legs coming down off of Sammy's shoulders crash in to the steel steps. And Sammy turning her attention to Coralie, who sends her inside the ring. Was well, nothing to do with Sammy Stone at the moment. But goes back outside. Anyway, now being sent back in the ring herself. Sammy Stone just tossing Blondie Bombshell. And Ivy Lopez sending Sammy into the barricade. And once again, back at it again is BB Cash and Coralie. Now both of them left alone all in the ring. Oh, got caught into it. She got caught into it. There's the takedown. The Star Shower. Coralie. The, the cover to pin BB Cash. And BB able to kick out at two and a half. Catching BB out of the cash out into the star shower blocking with the tornado roundhouse and BB off the Luthez raining down the fist Cora Lee almost with a very demanding victory over BB and there's the cash out cash out cover Sammy Stone back in the ring Saving the matchup, going after BB, going for that double under hook, looking for the endeavor, but BB Cash, how a bit of counter, and a clothesline taken out. Cora Lee, but still hanging on to the apron, however, there's a shoulder block. Sammy Stone going all around the stunner. Here's the cover, shoulders are down, BB Cash making the save. But from behind is Ivy Lopez. Kick to the midsection. Everybody hitting their big moves all at once. Lopez with the glitter bomb. And now going for the cover. But Blondie and Sammy breaking it up. Coralie come off the springboard. Move the side from the overhand punch. Here's a cover by Coralie. Shoulders are down. Shoulders are down. Sammy with a kick out. And Ivy taken out. Cora and Sammy, all oh, that double X handle coming down. BB Cash now. Going after Ivy Lopez. Has it up. Oh! Stun got into the neckbreaker. And Ivy Lopez now going in retreat. Hanging on to the top rope, trying to pick herself back up. BB Cash just waiting for her right there. And Lopez going for a ride down on the apron. Hardest part of the ring. And Sammy Stone going in pursuit of BB Cash as they're up on her shoulders. Sammy showcasing some strength here. But BB able to slip out and chop the back of the leg of Sammy Stone. Now Russell for control. Oh! Kick to the midsection. Sammy being sit back inside the ring. And Lopez meeting the stairs. Combination taking down Blondie Bombshell. Cora Lee sending. BB Cash towards the barricade again. Back to the vertical bases. BB, however. And an inverted Olympic slam of BB. And I think the top of her dome came down on the bottom step of the steel. Lopez with that stiff swing backhand strike. And Blondie Bombshell in retreat. At the moment here, power bomb by Sammy Stone. And Blondie. I have no idea what this war meeting is scheming here. Meanwhile, on the other side of the ring, Abby Lopez has BB up and drops her across the knee. Goes at the Cora. But Cora able to counter. Double underhook into a tiger bomb. And BB with a drop kick. Cora Lee going at the Sammy Stone. Sammy sending her into the barricade. And now sending Lopez into the barricade again. Just showcasing a bit of dominance over the war meetings. And oh! BB getting dropped with a lung blower. 
These are all champions of the War Man's division. Ivy Lopez may as well be a champion. She's got the power to steal a championship at any point in time with the plan for gold. BB Cash, the television champion. Cora Lee, the Gift of Valor champion, unifying the championships next week at the Road to Mayhem. Blondie Bombshell forced to retire the tag team championships, letting them be vacant and fought for. The Birds of Prey, the undisputed lead in absolution, looking to climb ladders in order to take them for themselves. And Jada looking to take the world championship off of Sammy herself. In the main event of the Road to Mayhem. Oh! Getting blasted with an elbow. And Cora Lee locking the leg behind the head and neck of Sammy. Dropping her face first with an inverted DDT. And Cora Lee showing off her summer strength as well. Now off the Snapman takedown. Baby! A stiff punch in the face of Ivy Lopez. Blondie sent back inside the ring. Coralie sending BB into the apron. And Sammy catching. Coralie into a spinning power slam. And a drop kick delivered to BB Cash. Meanwhile, Blondie Bombshell just surveying the scene on the outside. Now looking to in interject herself. And Blondie talking trash to Cora. May not have been the best approach. But sent back inside the ring with the world champion. Sammy still. Oh! Stiff headbutt from the champion, meeting of the minds. Here's the cover. No one's paying attention. I'll kick out. Oh! An inside out flat liner from Ivy Lopez. Floats her over into the hover blood lock submission. Trying to bend the arm in ways it wasn't meant to be. Cora, however, found an escape. Meanwhile, inside the ring, Sammy Stone trying to set BB Cash up for it a second time. Locking in the arms. Actually has her up on her shoulder this time. Looking for the endeavor. Sammy with the cover, but Blondie breaking out the pin. And a stiff kick to the champion. Blondie picking Sammy back up to her feet. Overhand punch to the back of Sammy Stone. And Blondie now whipping at the ring. Trying to take away the mobility of the world champion, Sammy Stone. Climbing all the way up to the top rope. Blondie looking to do what she knows best. Cross that oh! BB taking that hit that was meant for Sammy with a corkscrew swanton spinning roundhouse. Cora looking to steal it. But Sammy Stone the save. But a kick to the midsection now. Cora Lee looking to lock Sammy Stone into a torture rack. Submission applied by Ivy Lopez popping the back of Cora Lee. BB catching her out. Knees to the back of SDT and a glitter bomb to Bloody Bombshell. BB Cash breaking up the pin. And oh, blocking with that big forearm. Ivy Lopez shot to the midsection by BB. Now has her up on her shoulders. Oh, there's a gut buster from BB Cash. Full high esteem. Off the sick kick. Lung blow to Sammy. Covered by BB. And there's a save from Carly. Blondie with a steel chair. Where the hell did that come from? BB off that wicked close on the chair. Dropping on the back of the skull of Blondie. Now looking to fly by having second guesses. Go straight back after Cora Lee. Doesn't want her to have anything to do with the decision. With the stakes never higher. Next week for Cora and BB. And a swift kick. BB Cash. Kick to the midsection. Lock her in. Oh! Straight jacket neck breaker. Cora, however, not done with her. Shoving her down. And look, oh, look at this fluid motion from Cora Lee. Every neck breaker. Now look at a possibly in this matchup. Tornado Roundhouse into the cover for Blondie. Getting in the way of the referee and stopping the pinfall. Kick to the midsection. Blondie going all out. But caught in the clutches of Cora Lee. Locking in another torture rack. Trying to force BB to tap. 
But Sammy from behind popped to the back. Oh! There's a takedown from Ivy Lopez. Cora Lee with the strength of his garage suplex. Dropping Lopez back into a cover. Shoulders are down. Up to Lane. Lopez able to get the shoulder up in time. And a cash out attempt. Lopez with a spear. Kick to the midsection of the corner. Locking her in. Holds her out for a glitter bomb. BB to intercept and stop the pin. Now from behind, BB Cash. Ava, oh, thought that was going to be an influence. Suplex and stay turned into a stunner. Now from behind. Top of the elbow. World champion Sammy Stone. Focus on get the fella champion. Carly. Dropping her across the knee. And now trying to choke the life out of her. But from behind, Bloody Bombshell. And Sammy, bad spot right now. Damn it, suplex onto the chair. And now, Blondie from the top rope. Wants to fly. Chris Crucial, time missed. And now Sammy thinks that this matchup is over. All around the stutter. There's the cover. Shoulders are down. And Cora Lee making the save once more. Has the world champion up. Drives it down for the Star Eater. Cover. Sammy Stone gets saved by Blondie. And now from behind is BB Cash, who gets whipped back down onto the mat. Cora looking for that tornado roundhouse. But Blondie had the wherewithal to dodge it. And now trapped in the corner is Cora Lee. Blondie bumps up, however, looking for chaos theory. Bridge covered by Ivy Lopez. Making the save, Sammy Stone dropping BB on the steel chair. And now wrapping up the leg here off that dragon whip. Now whipping it back as well. Sammy Stone turning their attention elsewhere. Blondie Bombshell all the way to the top rope. Looking for it again. Corkscrew Swat Top Bomb. There's the cover. Shoulders are down. Blondie Bombshell with the win. Here's your win. Blondie Bombshell. Her last night as a VRW Warman's Tag Team Champion. Trying her best to show up throughout the match, but so much of her offense was deflected and interrupted. Meanwhile, you've got this preview of this championship unification match that was blowing up this entire time here and there. And here's where things start to break down even more. Coralie's starting to get more tactical, more vicious with her style. Off of that gut wrench suplex into her cover, broken up by that same function that is driving Ivy Lopez to one day take a championship from one of these champions and Sammy Stone almost walked away with the win had it not been for Cora Lee saving the person who would eventually get the victory here Lee however was able to hit this on a number of occasions the star eater but was unable to pin the world champion at this time. It all came down to a moment of isolation. Lopez was down. Blondie was up. Flew through the air. Turning her body midway into that corkscrew swanton bomb. Thank you, Blondie Bombshell, for repping the tag team division.
Power and Contest. We going to wrestling match. Get your whole Front man, the Quebec Kid, he is the VRW. We are the champions. Cam Hardy looking forward to another championship affair. This time, a unification of the United Revolution and Digital Media Championships. Cam Hardy has been looking to make his championship the A championship over the VRW Warzone Championship. Could he still be doing that if he battles and loses against Ryan Warzone at the Road to Mayhem pay-per-view? And his opponent from Louisville, Kentucky, Kennedy Reed. Kennedy Reed filling in as an interim champion for Ryan Warzone who decided to prepare himself for a battle of a lifetime. It would be the third time Ryan Warzone will be left alone one-on-one -on -one in a setting against Cam Hardy and wants every opportunity to ensure that he doesn't make it so that Cam Hardy pins him a third time involving the United Revolution Championship. Kennedy Reed has been looking forward to redemption Time and time again, we're in the here and now in a match filled with nothing but champions. He has been put back into the reservoir. A possibility. Can Kennedy Reed pull this win off tonight? It all remains to be seen, especially with this other champion. Representing a very strong style is the one half of the VRW Warzone. Early in the night, we saw one half of the team that is taking on American Strong Style. Big Tito eliminate Danny Wells. Evan Wilder looking to right the wrong of that injustice and help American Strong Style build some momentum towards their tag team championship match at the Road to Mayhem. From Chicago, Illinois, he is the holder of the plan for gold, Austin Storm. Austin Storm has a rather annoying task ahead of him, but the match with stipulations of Rampage are apparent. Whether he loses and vacates the plan for gold, or he wins, and Raymond Page will objectively have no reason to speak, let alone put his hands on Austin Storm ever again. High stakes matches at the Road to Mayhem pay-per-view next week. As we are celebrating our 150 plus milestone, why haven't you subscribed? Why haven't you hit that like? Why haven't you hit that bell? Ladies and gentlemen, VRW is on the up and up as because of people like Mason Rex. That is a sentence I never thought I would say, but damn it, it he has brought controversy towards the VRW Warzone Championship. Him, American Terror, his nation of terror have been the talk of the town for so long. And this man is still your VRW Warzone Champion. The man that Cam Hardy is trying to overshadow with the United Revolution Championship. A man who calls himself the greatest of all time. And not many can argue with the statement that Mason Rex truly is the greatest of all time with the resume he has accumulated over the past number of years here at VRW. But tonight, we are battling for supremacy. All champions involving Austin Storm, who has the power to take a championship anytime he chooses with the plan for gold, whether it be singles or tag. 
Austin Storm controls a lot of power, much like Mason Rex. After gaining the first lady of VRW, mind you, they have been running rough shop over all divisions. But lately, Mason Rex has had to deal with the Don putting his foot down as of late, not putting up with the civil war unrest within VRW caused by Mason Rex. Meanwhile, you have guys like Kenny Reed, who is trying to get his foot back through the door in conversations involving championships. For now, he is the interim champion for the Digital Media Championship as Ryan Warzone prepares himself in a battle for the unification of the United Revolution and Digital Media Championships. Evan Wilder and his tag team partner, oh, Chase Collins, will be doing battle against New Dawn for the VRW Warzone Tag Team Championships, their first major championship defense since their last title defense, defending the Tag Team Championships against the Broken Kingdom, and you guessed it, American Terror! German suplex by KD Reed, and the save from Austin Storm, having a deal with Evan Wilder now. Candy Reed driving the knee into the face of the world champion. Misses with the big boot. Cam Hardy now locking up with Kennedy Reed. Off the half crutch suplex. Mason Rex having a deal once again. Oh, what a combination. Unintended though by Austin Storm and Evan Wilder. And oh, off that takedown. Raining down strikes over Mason Rex. I was bringing up the fact that American Terror and American Strong Style have always been at odds ends with one another. Trying to raise the superior American tag team faction. And Wilder, who holds the Warzone Tag Team Championships, able to outsmart American Terror alongside his tag team partner Chase Collins. Rex upon the shoulders of the United Revolution Champion. Down goes Wilder. Off the pump handle face buster Cam Hardy from behind has Austin Storm. How interesting to see that match. Cam Hardy versus Austin Storm. I'd love to see that. As Evan Wilder now going after the steel steps that have been moved around on the outside. Mason Rex on the inside of the ring. Locking down Kennedy Reed. Wrenching away at the left leg. As Cam Hardy now back inside the ring as well. Oh! Slam dunk by Evan Wilder on the outside to Austin Storm. KD Reed on the moonsault dropping. Cam Hardy with a DDT. Mason Rex with a DDT of his own. Oh, and back into a cover. However, Cam Hardy bring up the pin and face to face with the world champion. Retreats to the outside. Mason Rex. Does it follow? He goes right back after Kennedy Reed. Cam Hardy trying to coat the world champion. And has him exactly where he wants him. Hardy! Able to keep the world champion down momentarily. Austin Storm almost getting blasted with steel steps by Kennedy Reed on the outside. And as a striking combination, the Mayday Parade, if you would. Austin Storm. Exerting his dominance over Candy Reed, the once former Dark Horse of VRW, brought back down to Ground Zero, and Austin Storm is up on Cloud Nine, caught in the cradle of Evan Wilder. However, Austin Storm driving the elbows to the side of the dome, now tossing Wilder into the corner, runs into it. Oh, the steel chair from Candy Reed. And Austin Storm, I'm pretty sure, has been busted open at this point. Off that steel chair strike. Cam Hardy, look out! Oh! Big kick and a step down! Meanwhile, Wilder again locking in a bear hug. Not gonna tap anyone out at the moment. Now from behind, Cam Hardy gripping the nape of the neck. Austin Storm going straight at the ball with the double slap there! Strike in combination and a clothesline taking out Cam Hardy. Off that spring board. Elbow ramming into the world champion and one half of the tag team champions. And now draping suplex. Delivered to Evan Wilder. Goes straight back after Mason Rex. Austin Storm still probably seething 
from when American Terror attacked Austin Storm. Quick kick out by Kennedy Reed. When Austin Storm was attacked by Sawyer, Darren Troy, and David Blaze. When he was trying to call out Raymond Page himself, but would then get dropped out of nowhere by Page, even hitting him with the Page 13. Cam Hardy, oh! Who has been a fighting champion ever since winning the United Revolution Championship with notable championship matches against Kosuke Kurosawa, Ryan Warzo, Kennedy Reed, and now we are going to see it happen again. Even KJ Hunter put up a valiant effort against Cam Hardy, but Ryan Warzo looks to go one for three against Cam Hardy, unifying the digital media and United Revolution Championships. Slap to the face. Oh! Face first goes wilder. Austin Storm on the outside being a bit disrespectful and goatish. But that is classic Storm. And Cam Hardy dragging along. Wilder now getting the help from Austin Storm. Double team combination. Well barrel suplex. Now they all Boston knee party. Boston knee party by Cam Hardy. Charles at the only a one. Austin Storm ain't having it tonight. But gets met with a boot to the face. And now Cam Hardy climbing to the middle row. Splash in the lower back of Evan Wilder. Austin Storm making it back to his feet with an uppercut. Now the strikes on display. And the kicks and the knees and the poison runner. Meanwhile, pile driver to Mason Rex. And inside the ring, a submission. Bear hug applied. Reed going after the referee and Wilder. And now locking him up, up on the shoulders, looking for a power slam. Wilder able to cut him and DDT on the chair. Mason Rex now back inside the ring, sit into the corner. By American Strong Styles of a Wilder. Austin Storm! Charge a racket and a backstabber. Turns his attention to Cam Hardy. Off of that straight jacket suplex. As Mason Rex looking to take out the trash from behind, however, goes back after Austin Storm. Swings him into the ropes. Into an overhead belly to belly. Turns his attention to Evan Wilder again. Has him up on his shoulders. Not going to toss him into a power slam. But tosses him into that top turn buckle. Got caught with a super kick. Here's the cover. Shoulders are down. And Austin Storm making a save. But from behind, Katie Reed. Double chicken wing suplex. Here's a cover. Only a one count again. The way Austin Storm is conducting himself in this match needs to be studied. Evan Wilder has the academics, has a collegiate background in professional wrestling, and is looking to successfully defend his tag team championships alongside his tag team partner, Chase Collins, who is keeping an eye on this matchup in the back. Austin Storm with a steel chair in hand. And man wants to use it so badly. But the mind game is being played by both he and Evan Wilder. Locking things up. Oh! Don't exactly know what to call that. But can you read? No, stomp it out. Cam Hardy. Oh. Now kick to the message. Oh! On the ace crusher. And now can you read? With a submission. Locked in a submission. On Austin Storm and Mason Rex. Breaking up the submission, going back after Katie Reed off that swing blade, drop kick. And now Mason Rex into the cover, hooks a leg and a quick save from Cam Hardy. And now shot back from behind, up on the shoulders of Cam Hardy, driving down the world champion. There's a cover, Cam to pin Mason Rex, Mason. Aiming a kick out of his own free will. Evan Wilder back inside the ring. Tossing Cam Hardy into the corner. Meanwhile on the outside, rolling cutter. Tell to out. Oh, it's a DDT. And Cam Hardy back on the offensive against Mason Rex. Kick to the midsection and a big boot. 
This carnage, this action is going back and forth all over the place. Austin Storm being sent back inside the ring. Cam Hardy kicking away the world champion. Now going after the holder of the plan for gold, but slipped off of his shoulders. Now looking for a oh, I thought it was a Yurinagi. There was a modified version of the half puck suplex and a drop kick to the knees of Austin Storm from the world champion Mason Rex. As Rex beginning to pummel the already bloodied up face of Austin Storm. That's a stiff kick. Mason Rex now climbed all the way to the top row. Driving down an elbow to the heart of Austin Storm. Here's a cover and Cam Hardy becoming the thorn in the side of American Terror's leader of the Boston A Party again. Now completely just stepping down on the body of Mason Rex. And Austin Storm blasting Cam Hardy. And nails him on a springboard drop kick. Goes in for the cover. Spine buster on the outside. Shoulders off down. Only until... Oh, and a shot at memory! And the save already from Cam Hardy. Who goes straight back after Mason Rex. Driving the knees into the midsection. Down goes... Hardy, and now locking up Austin Storm off the Falcon's arrow. Austin Storm is in deep, deep trouble. Reed or Wilder need to focus up. Mason Rex hits him with the Rex Ranger. Covered Austin Storm. Who is left to fend off and get the shoulder up himself? Cam Hardy wasn't looking for it. And a shot turning on behind. Mason Rex getting caught with an elbow. And another strike from Mason. Back and forth like a pendulum swing. Drop down on the cross to knee. German suplex by Austin Storm. Turning his attention once again to Cam Hardy. Cam now, oh, getting blasted. And Wilder and Austin Storm playing my games here. Has him down. These wonders. He's one with me, moves like this in the past. Fujiwara on par. However, the save from Cam Hardy. Backhand chops, lighting it up. Ooh, shot to the midsection. Wilder, again, getting chopped and laid out. Hooks the leg. Shoulders are down. Mason Rex and Katie Reed with the save. And Reed off the moonsault. Didn't get anyone, in fact. But Rex getting dropped on the top rope. And got caught with an ace crusher. But not going for the cover. Tosses him. Go as the center of the ring. Here's the cover now. Shoulders are down. Kick out by Wilder at two and a half. I would argue that Reed took too much time to make it a cover. And meanwhile, towards the rampway, Austin Storm and Cam Hardy lighting each other up. But now Austin Storm has lost interest it seems. Turns his attention to possibly Kitty Reed or Evan Wilder. And now, oh! So slam down in a cannon ball senton! And a Boston knee party! Rex is down! Turns him around into the cover. Kenny Reed looking to get back inside the ring. Cam Hardy almost pinned the world champion. And Mason chopping the legs from behind. Mason got caught. It's nailed. Cam Hardy with an elbow in the DDT. And now bobbing and weaving. Mason Rex and Kenny Reed getting dropped with a leg lariat. Kick to the midsection counter. And look at the strength of Evan Wilder off the gut wrench. The cover, the cover, and a kick out by Mason. The man is in a weird territory right now, especially considering that the road to Mayhem is only one week away, one week removed. And Mason Retz has to put the integrity of American Terror on his shoulders when one member of American Terror teams up 
with Jane Van Dam to take on the parents of the Broken Kingdom. Marissa and Ace looking to silence American Terror once and for all. Or could it be one more match that could get squeezed out of this rivalry? Here's a cover and a save from Evan Wilder. German release suplex. I don't see how Kennedy Reed still has a will. The Werethal, look out, has him locked in, pile driver! Meanwhile, Cam Hardy and Reed sharing a moment of awesomeness. And now back inside the ring, tilt to well into a DDT! And here it comes. The Holy Cup to camera! As Mason Rex shocks! Deliver to Cam Hardy, but again, the screw job of the century, keeping Cam from making the cover, and now sending Cam Hardy into the ropes, got sh blasted down with an elbow, and now Mason Rex forcing a submission, Dragon Sleeper submission, trying to squeeze the life out of Cam Hardy, and Evan Wilder making a save again. And spine buster by Kennedy into the cover, and now it's now is Evan Wilder saving Mason Rex. Well, I ever thought I'd see the day. Meanwhile, Austin Storm with a kendo sticking hand, surprising to see a sledgehammer throughout this matchup. Now draping Kennedy Re oh, on a kendo stick, and he is letting that thing sing. Spray pointed to the drop kick. As Evan Wilder and Cam Hardy trying to two-man Austin Storm. Blow for blow. Face first into the mat. Here's the cover. Shoulders are down. Only a one count again. What is Austin Storm made of? This man is running off of more than just pure adrenaline. It's pure savagery. Not allowing the cover to progress any further than one is insane. Cam Hardy with a quick kick out. And a European uppercut. Delivered by Austin Storm. Kendo Stick versus Steel Chair. Kendo Stick wins apparently. Blow out the blow. Actually breaking it over the skull of Candy Reed. Springboard once again. Catches him with a DDT. As Evan Wilder locking up, slamming him down. Off the modified spine buster, now slamming down the left leg of Austin Storm. And that might size him up for Raymond Page next week at the Road to Mayhem pay per view. Looking for an elbow! But does it go for the cover? Wants to do things another way. Meanwhile, on the outside, we're looking at Mason Rex completely brutalized. Kennedy Reed alongside a little bit of assistance, other outside assistance, but right now focus on inside the ring. Evan Wilder has himself set up for the Vortex Lariat! The cover! Austin Storm wins!
This is the warmest carnival frenzy match. In this bout, two warmings will begin in three, with 28 others still to follow by a specific interval. In order to be eliminated from this match, he has been thrown over the top rope with both feet touching the floor. The last warming standing in the ring will be called the winner of the Warmings Carnival Frenzy. Warming and who drew number one? Beach, California. She is the RW Warming and Champion, Sammy Stone. Earlier in the night, Sammy Stone participated in a Champions Frenzy match, looking for supremacy. Unfortunately, it would be Blondie Bombshell who would emerge victorious from that match. Well, Sammy Stone has another opportunity to run away with bragging rights here tonight. Here in the Carnival Frenzy. <laughs> Wait a minute, no way! Now it's adding from El Paso, Texas. Representing the Atomic Rob Team One Hat with the VIW Warman Tag Team Champion, Bloody Bombshell. Bombshell looking to make another miracle happen tonight. Despite having to vacate the Warman's Tag Team Championships, she refuses to end this night on a sour note. When? Number one was earlier in the night. Now she's aiming for a second win. In order to do that, she has to outlast 28 other War Maidens. I should say 29, completely oblivious to the fact that Sammy Stone is starting this match with Blondie Bombshell. And again, you have to throw your opponent over the top rope, both feet touching the floor in order to score eliminations. Earlier in the night, it would be Xavier Grace who came out at number 30, won his Carnival Frenzy match. Entrant number three, the Diamond Era, led by herself in name, Diamond Era, who has been spearheading a charging tag team force that she's been trying to build up, and Bram Goodwin and the King of the War Zone, Jason Thomas. And Diamond Era, who is yet to be pinned in VRW, yet to be submitted but has a victory over Countout thanks to Madison Miles a few weeks ago. War Maiden number four is on the way. And look at this! Jada Storm, who's going to be going to war against Sammy Stone next week at the Road to Mayhem pay-per-view. With the VRW War Maiden Championship on the line, Sammy Stone who was disrespected by Jada a couple of weeks ago. is not gonna stand for Jada being in this match right now and letting things go up front. And a power slam by Sammy. Anything that gets her focus on Jada Storm any quicker. Warming to number five. With the responsible party of why Alice Cherry Bomb is no longer able to compete in VRW. They had to forcefully vacate the War Man's Hattie Championship, Helen Valiant of the Valiant Flame. And Sammy Stone doing everything she can to possibly get Diamond Era off of her back. Sammy Stone going after Helen. So long as it means it gets her closer to Jada from behind. Kick to the midsection. Sammy Stone. Now shove it down, Jada. Turns her attention. Number six on the way. Maggie Morgan. One half of the VRW, I'm oh sorry, one half of the former VRW Women Attack Team Champions. It would be the, oh, the Atomic Blondes who took the championships off of Maggie Morgan and Dallas Cole. And Morgan! Driving the boots into the chest and sternum of Sammy Stone. And a springboard, Moonsault DDT by Helen. 
Warming in number seven on the way, lock it in. She will be unifying the VRW Gift of Valor and Television Championships against BB Cash. Cora Lee, who came up short earlier in the night. When it came to the War Man's Championship frenzy. Now up on the shoulders is Sammy Stone. Poison Rod a counter! And then try to go straight back after Helen Valiant. War Maiden number eight is on the way. Sunset flip pop up by Maggie Morgan number eight. A new face joining the War Man's division. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Angelina Renee, longtime friend and ally to the current digital media champion, Ryan Warzo. Going toe to toe -to against Sammy Stone at the moment. Floats her over. Lucky in a submission. Trying to bend the arm back up. Sammy, look at her. Angela Renee, a high throw. Shotgun drop kick by Sammy Stone. DDT by Helen Valiant. There are going to be times around this match where it's going to be a woman is locked in until another woman is sent out. Then another woman will enter the fray. And Blondie Bombshell. And he's backhand chops here. Ooh. Kick to the midsection. Striking after the counter. Cora Lee. Going after newcomer Angelina Renee. And Diamond Era. Trying to one up Cora with a showcase of strength. That's Renee now. Keep an eye on the new girl. Kick to the men's section. Sammy Stone. Sammy Stone. That's Cora Lee up. Drives her down with the endeavor. And Helen Valiant off the reverse 450 splash and a headbutt met by Sammy Stone. Meanwhile, Angela and Renee DDT to Gina Storm. Going after Maggie Morgan next, and now Angelina Renee gonna toss her over the top rope. Sammy from behind, no, dropping the elbow across the chest. And Maggie Morgan having the time to get back inside the ring, all around the stunner by Sammy Stone. Off the schoolgirl, super kick to Gina, giving a piece of her own medicine. And now up on the shoulders, Sammy Stone once again, not allowing Cora to have her way in the electric chair driver. And from behind, spin out power bar by Sammy Stone. Meanwhile, ooh, great moonsaw, but from behind is the champion, Diamond Era now. Locking in, pops her up, look out, incoming! Popped her into a German suplex. And now toss over the top rope, Angelina Renee! Trying to eliminate Diamond Era, but not gonna happen. And now from behind, Helen Valiant with a German suplex! This ring is gonna get filled quickly after the next person gets eliminated. Sammy almost eliminated Cora, but from behind is Gina Storm! Lariat off the German! And now, oh! Driving the elbows into the midsection of Diamond Era here. Sammy Stone going back after Cora Lee, Diamond Era. Oh, Gina Storm with a burning hammer! Jada trying to beat in some mental mind games against Sammy Stone. Just one week removed from the road to Mayhem and Sammy! Eliminating Gina Storm, the first elimination! Cora Lee tried to sneak an elimination off the world champion herself. Face rest on the top turnbuckle. And now Cora Lee trying to wrestle Sammy Stone over the top rope. Up on the top rope now. Cora, Cora trying to eliminate Sammy. Turns on over and Sammy Stone gets eliminated by Cora. Unfortunate scenario. The main event of the Road to Mayhem have been eliminated from the Carnival Frenzy. First it was Sammy to eliminate Jada. And the Gift of Valor Champion, Cora Lee to eliminate the same champion, Sammy Stone. Now we are down to the six of our war minions here. 
Entry number nine will be joining us very soon. And now Cora Lee from behind. Rip Cora into a knee. Now going back after Angelina Renee with this ridiculous strength on display. Number nine is on the way. The countdown begins once more. And Cora tried to go for that springboard, but Helen able to keep her at bay. Number nine, Hitomi Kozaki. Entering her first carnival frenzy. Again, Hitomi is a brand new wrestler who came to VRW to start her wrestling career. In a place where the war may have been reigning dominant over specific areas of professional wrestling here in the war zone. Hitomi Kozuki trying to mark her name into some kind of legacy in history. As number 10 now locked in and is now on the way to join everyone here inside the ring. Number 10, former War Man's World Champion Riley Knight. Who is unfortunately coming up short against a battle against the Birds of Prey to become the number one contenders for the VRW War Man Tag Team Championships or someday soon. I predict that the Knight Sisters will be able to call themselves Tag Team Champions. And Riley locking things up. The Corley right now drops with a clothesline. And now over the top rope goes Maggie Morgan eliminated by Diamond Era. Look at her go! Just bullying anyone she can wrap her hands around. Angelina Renee still in this ring right now. Ooh. Knocked down. Blondie Bombshell. Soul Survivor at the starting two. And Renee! Tried to get out of the grip of Diamond Era, shoving the knee up into the sternum. Now tossing her into the corner. Diamond Era figuring that. Oh! Both women are thinking the same thing and it's totally cool to keep. Knock it down, Era. And Riley Knight sending Blondie Bombshell into the ropes here. Blondie catching her with a jawbreaker. War Man number 11 soon to be joining us here in the ring. I would like to say this once again, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you all for 150 plus number 11. One third over the top rope. Blondie Bombshell eliminated by Angelina Renee. Now going at the number 11 suplex hitter with her own thing. And Hatomi getting caught with that Pele kick. Angelina Renee now with the grip of the Get the Valor champion trying to eliminate another champion. Or should I say, Blondie, former tag team champion, Makora Lee now trapping Angelina Renee. Already has her up on the top rope. Looking for another elimination. Renee, however, and a catcher and a shot to the face. Angelina Renee with some power of her own here. Oh! But I believe the back gave out on Angelina Renee. Trying to kick a Tommy out of the air. Both Warman is looking to go for broke up on the shoulders. Boom with the knee. As War Maiden number 12 is on the way. One half of the tag team known as Alpha Eva Sinai heading out to the ring. Former television champion and currently aiming to become a tag team champion herself in the near future alongside her tag team partner Amber Young and Helen Valiant thrown over the top rope here oh spit out Yorinagi slam by Diamond Era meanwhile Riley Knight oh God got caught with a silver kick to the back of the dome from Eva Sinai that's a Tommy Kozaki ran in with some kicks here and now oh Dropped by a Saido suplex, taking down Angelina Renee next. Now with the snapmare by Riley Knight, tried to go for her Karana, but suplex just way too powerful. And able to counter Angelina Renee. Meanwhile, Hitomi Kozaki, oh, going over the top row. Diamond Air is still hanging on. Hitomi Kozaki going after Coralie. Oh, with a reverse power bomb. And going after Diamond Era! 
Off the tilt to where I'll face by a German suplex by Sue. And Helen Valiant now with a grip of the neighbor to the neck. Aviva Cyanide drapes her over the top rope. Helen Valiant now tossing Cyanide over and out. Trying to pick up some momentum for the Valiant Flame in the future. Diamond Era bringing in these shots here. Oh! Overhead toss here. Oof. Helen Valiant now turns her attention. Oh, and the shiniest wizard! But Angelina Renee now going to toss Helen over the top rope. And there she goes, the elimination by Angelina Renee. And Suplex trying to get her quickly eliminated. Tossed over the top rope. Drop kicking. Suplex off the apron. Angelina Renee with two back to back eliminations. Renee with her VRW Warman's debut in the Carnival Frenzy practice run. Number 13. They call her Gravity's champion, Andy Jaden, joining them free. And now going straight after the newcomer, Angelina Renee got shut down with a kick. Great counter by Renee. Now with that takedown, raining down some punches. Got caught with a tornado roundhouse. Cora Lee taking out Andy Jaden and Tommy Kozaki, however, setting up Cora Lee for something big here. But Cora driving the elbows into the midsection of Hitomi. And from behind. Oh! Shot to the face. And a swift kick by Angelina Renee. Number 14, Lexi Moniz. And Cora Lee able to counter that butterfly backbreaker. And Lexi Moniz now joining the fray up on the shoulders of Cora Lee. Not giving her a chance to start this match. And oh! Able to kick both. Andy and Riley off of that springboard in Zaguri. Another war made it quickly joining the fray, making sure that there is complete chaos inside of this ring number 15. She is a holder of the player for gold, Ivy Lopez, who is battling with the other champions of the war man's roster. They got caught with a hard karate right off the gate. Eight future. Potential warming and champions in the ring. A guaranteed champion. If you're Ivy Lopez, considering she is holding the plan for goal, who can cash that in at any point, get herself a championship match of her own choosing. Meanwhile, Diamond Era has been trying to build a legacy off of building people up. And now, once again, back inside of a VRW ring, throws her own name into the hat. A surprise champions in the near future. Angelina Renee, however, having other plans for Diamond Era. Able to lift her up over her shoulders here. Look at this. Tossed over the top rope. Renee with three eliminations. And a war man's debut. Diamond and knee. And Andy Jaden. Face first into the mat. Goes Ivy Lopez and Riley Knight. Going after the new girl, Andy Jaden dropping Riley with a neck breaker. And oh! Hitomi just dropped by Lexi Moniz. Going straight after Ivy Lopez now. Whipping her down with a Fisher Woman's neck breaker. And now going back after Lopez with these body shots, these body blows, and a hatch suplex. Andy Jaden using her athleticism. Now Lexi O'Neill's these body shots delivered to Hitomi this time. And ooh! The back and forth between Andy Jaden and Lexi O'Neill's right now. Number 16 is Catalina! This would be her second in-ring performance here since joining VRW Renee. Having her first performance as well here tonight, Catalina looking for a brain buster. Andy Jaden wiggles her way out, able to counter, shot to the back of the leg. And Cora running into a brick wall. Lexi Moniz sitting down, get a little bit of rest for the wicked here. And Andy Jaden on the arm drag into a drop kick. Evan toss over the top rope. Hitomi, however, 
And Riley making a save to Angelina Renee. And Riley gonna send Hatomi. Oh, but it gets the ropes here. Oh! And he cheated! Eliminated by Lexi Moniz! Unfortunate for Gravity's champion as Lexi rains down the strikes against Atomi Kozaki! Dropping her with a DDT. And now with a German suplex to Corley! And Catalina going straight after Lexi Moniz, driving in the across the side of the face. Now from O. Shot in these back and forth attacks. And Ivy Lopez now. Oh! Off the snap suplex. Going straight back after. Lexi Moniz now going after everybody. Coralie now trapping. Lopez drops it down across the knee. And now Cora picking up Ivy Lopez. And Moniz picking up Catalina. Coralie now trying to eliminate Ivy Lopez. And now Angelina Renee with a little bit of assistance for her. Lopez in deep, deep trouble. Finally, it will get some matter of reprieve here. Hitomi now, oh! And here comes the other half of the Valiant Flame, Veronica. Oh, wait a minute. I thought Sonya was here. Who the hell is Veronica Flame? The Valiant Flame with a third member debuting here tonight in the War Zone. And Riley! Having already turbulent history with the Valiant Flame already blasting Veronica. Great bomb! By Ivy Lopez. Oof! Riley Knight not going to allow her to have any momentum or say this. Oh! Power bomb delivered in a knee! Got some beautiful performances here tonight. That Tornado Roundhouse by Coralie and a Tiger Bomb to Veronica Flame. Meanwhile, Lexi Moniz overpowering Ivy Lopez. And Catalina going right back into the fray, going after to get the Valor Champion. And Tommy lifting and driving the Nugget Tsune into the throat of Veronica Flame. And now trying to get her hands on Angelina Renee. And now up on the shoulders of Cora. Looking for the star eater. Springboard DDT to the Tommy. And Angelina Renee trying to pick her moment here. Russian leg sweep taken out. Lexi Moniz. All the chaos is meant to be a part. That's a carnival frenzy. We weren't even expecting this kind of matchup until two months out in the schedule. Now Angelina Renee trying to make another impressive achievement here tonight. She's already got three eliminations. Now she's trying to eliminate a former FIAW Warrior as well champion. Riley Knight is struggling, teetering now. Ooh, shot to the face. Evangelia Renee finding the escape, turns her around. Catalina getting shot here. Trying to go for the Nugget Tuning again. But Veronica Flame now going fist to blow to blow for Hitomi Kozaki. And now Hitomi trying to toss Veronica out of this match. And all over the top row she goes, but still hang on to the bottom rope, hang on for dear life. And Ivy Lopez being eliminated. And Veronica able to find her freedom from that escape. And oh, Meanwhile, Angelina Renee once again, toe-to-toe -to -toe with the Gift of Valor champion. Walks right in front of her. And Renee trying to toss her over the top row, lands in the corner instead. And now Coralie is trapped in the corner once more. Meanwhile, oh no! Veronica Flame eliminating Riley Knight. And Coralie able to find herself an escape from the corner. Angelina Renee was trying to eliminate her. And now look at this. The power and strength of Coralie and Hitomi Kozaki. And we got ourselves another war meeting. Heading out to the fray, number 18, 
the other half of the tag team known as Alpha, former Gift of Valor champion, former VIW Women's champion, Amber Young with Lexi Moniz in the background hitting an outstanding moonsault. we got seven war minions locked in the ring right now. We need ourselves an eighth. And Veronica Flynn going straight after another member of a tag team in Alpha. And Veronica driving the elbows down. Cora Lee driving down. Catalina. Cora being the only champion in this ring. Oh, man! Game, set, and match. Bad Amy! Bad Amy coming out of that street gear! Heading straight after! Amber Young driving in with a lung blower! The ties of this match are completely perplexed now! One of the greatest to ever do it in a VRW capacity! We've got ourselves two former Warman's champion. The current the Gift of Valor champion going after Hitomi, blocking that discus boot. Her, her Kahana. And Bad 80 hasn't been in a ring right now. All right, look at Sunny. Bad 80 is down. Welcome back to the ring, Bad Amy. Hitomi Kozaki already called her shots against one of the goats of the War Man's history. And Coralie, oh. Move the side from Amber Young, trying to get her eliminated. Face first! Cora Lee has been in this match for quite some time now. Meanwhile, Angelia Renee, who also has an outstanding performance. Three eliminations in her first ever match in VRW. Now going toe-to-toe -to -toe against Hitomi Kozuki as a trap in the corner. Once again, Angelia Renee now! So close to eliminating Hitomi Kozuki! All she's got to do is turn her over her Tommy, however. With a shot to the face, freeing herself from the corner. Now lock it up with Angelina Renee. Combination all on display here. And Renee able to counter. Turn her back to her Tommy. That's not exactly what you were supposed to do. Bad Amy now has Lexi Moniz on the top rope. Down she goes. Bad Amy with her first elimination. And Catalina, ooh. Getting blasted with an elbow. Half clutch suplex. And now Catalina with the striking combinations. Out on display. Driving a knee across the face of Bad Amy. Turns her attention to the Hakomi. Calls a key with the ripcord knee. Turns her attention to Cora. No! Roundhouse kick out of a back suplex. And Catalina is going catastrophic right now in his ring. Look at this! Oshie, girl, Oshie! And the young pin up and cut the bad Amy and driving the knee to Hitomi! Catalina is on fire! And now Angelina Renee able to break up the clutches. Long blower by Veronica! Now, ooh! Veronica Flame representing the Valiant Flame. And Renee! Trying to yell pose into the big section. Long blower by Cora Lee! And we have ourselves another woman about to join the fray up on the shoulders of Hitomi. Number 20, Marissa Barrett of the Broken Kingdom. Going, go, got caught in the clutches already. Of course, super kick to Amber Young. And Pat Amy locking things up with Angelina Renee. Marissa Baird, however, tossing Catalina over the top rope and out she goes. Not even a minute into the match and Baird already with an elimination. Much like Pat Amy did. And now a lung blower. Delivered to Veronica Flame. Not bad, Amy. Ooh. Getting shut down by Veronica. Marissa Bear resting into the corner. Face first goes Veronica. Angelia Renee. Traping up at Tommy. Over the top rope. Renee again. Able to hoist her on top to the ring. Renee with four. Four eliminations. 
And Ampre Young. Tom's going to enter the ropes here. Oh! Off the double. Elbows in a spinning roundhouse. Off the school girl. Silver kick to Pat Amy. Marissa Barrett, who got some sweet comeuppets out of her cage fight against James Van Dam last week. And a run blower by Veronica Flame. Who attacked him on a reason why the Tag Team Championships are vacated as a Sky Eater. Number 21, BB Cash, who will be battling against Cora Lee to unify the television and the Get the Fire Championships are already with an elimination within seconds of BB Cash. Bad Amy, we got trouble, and dropped the kid. BB Cash now going after Angie Irvin. Oh, sorry, it's a save. Veronica Flame. Veronica, look out, Bulldog! And now we have Warbeaton, who drew number 22, Madison Miles. This is a match that should be up her alley. She is undefeated in tag team competition. Maybe she can be undefeated in a carnival frenzy. And BB able to save herself from sheer disaster. Stiff forearm to Amber Young, who shrugs it off here. And Randa with another forearm. And that's in Miles trying to eliminate BB Cash as quick as she came in. Number 23 is on the way. And now the odds have been bettered for the Valiant Flame. Sonia Valiant now has joined the fray. Oh! Spiking BB with official woman brain buster. The both of the Valiant Flame caught in the corner. And now face first goes BB Cash. And Coralie sending Veronica Flame into the corner now. Up on the top of Veronica. Cora trying to get another elimination. But Veronica with a shot to the face. Saving herself from disaster. And now Veronica over the top. Oh, she goes. And there's the save from Sonya Valiant. Now kicked to the midsection by BB Cash. Now going to send Sonya over. And out she goes. BB with two eliminations. Going straight out there. Marissa Barry drops it with a cash out. Sonya eliminated and Veronica trying to get some payback. BB caught in the corner. Trying to save her some mess and Miles sending Amber over the top rope. And Amber survives with a super kick for BB. And now cash out. Hopped over Veronica and hit Amber with a cash out. Two eliminations, two cash outs. BB Cash having some fun here tonight. And now locking things up with Massive Miles. BB Cash now be a sit. Oh, Mr. Wretched here. Great counter. Ooh. Shot to the midsection. Now turns her attention to Coralie. Toss her out there and she goes. Three eliminations for BB Cash. Could that be symbolic? If Coralie went to lose next week with the Unification Championship match, number 24 is Nero Helms of the Helms Dynasty. And the Warmongers, Carnival Frenzy, we saw Jackson Helms eliminate the United Revolution Champion, Cam Hardy, within a minute of him being in the match. Could we see a feat like that come? from Nero Helms, oh! Springboard into a forearm, massive Miles over, having other plans for Nero. And from behind, BB, inverted, oh! Thought we were gonna see a suplex and turn it into a reverse DT instead. Meanwhile, Nero Helms, going after, oh! Modified version of the cash out as a standing variant. Guess you can count that one. Number 25, Winnie Bacon, Marissa Baird, eliminated by Amber Young. Oh, dropping Baker as she's barely gotten into the matchup here. 
Ooh, roundhouse kick by BB Cat. Ooh, by. And now sent over the top rope. Amber Young already eliminating Whitney Baker. And now how sending BB Cash for high. Number 26 is on the way. And over the top as he goes. Mazin trying to eliminate. Amber Young, number 26 is Jane Van Dam. Carving out and rocking her normal colors. Feeling as though she let America tear it down. Super kick, baby! With four eliminations! Tying Angelina Renee with the top eliminations of the match. And a straight jacket neck breaker delivered to Amber Young. Number 27! One half of Absolution that will be battling in a ladder match for the vacated VRW Warrior and Tag Team Championships. Dallas Cole now joins the fray. Neckbreaker delivered to Amber Young. And Dallas goes straight after. BB Cash, meanwhile, Veronica Flame trying to eliminate Nero Helms. Almost no. Shot to the side ahead from Nero. And oh, set four on delivered to Massive Miles. Number 28 is on the way. BB sending Veronica over the top row. Shot to the face here. Trying to force her out. Oh, no. Number 28, a fifth elimination for BB Cash. But the destroyer of the war is is here. Robin Blackstock is in the fray. This is a dangerous scenario now, but Robin got laid out on her ass already. Number 29 is soon to be coming out. And Robin Blackstar is quite the foe to contend with a one-of-a-kind woman, to say the least. Number 29, the leader of the Undisputed Elite, Ruby Rebel. And Robin Blackstar contending with Massey now goes straight after Ruby Rebel, she and Robin will be in the same ladder match for the vacated VRW Warman Tag Team Championships. And Robin Blackso stepping down in the arm. The final Warman to join the Carnival Frenzy number 30. Maddie Saban of PNT. Representing the group here amongst the War Maidens. May Saban, who performed wonderfully in the number one contenders War of the War Maidens match. Unfortunately, came up short, but was still impressive to say the least. And Amber Young with a shot straight to the face of Dallas Cole. German suplex and boot! And a cash out! Five eliminations, four cash outs for BB. And Robin Blackstar has her eyes set. They were on BB, and I think they still are. Trying to hit. Oh! Ruby Rebel with the springboard that knocked Robin out of her momentum. And Robin did not appreciate that in the slightest. Look at what's happening right now. Robin Blackstar is being kept at bay. An elbow delivered by Mass and Miles. And Maddie Saban trying to, ooh, trying to eliminate Amber Young, but it's not going to happen right now. And Neil Helms eliminated. Maddie Saban is going over the top rope. And Robin Blackstar trying to force out Maddie Saban from the match. Pushing and shoving. Baby, however, Robin with an elimination. And Amber Young trying to eliminate Dallas Cole. Over the top rope she goes. Still hanging on to that bomb rope. But fights her way out of it. Robin Blackstar now contending with Amber Young. And a clothesline by Dallas Cole. We're down to the final six. And Dallas got kicked out of that clothesline in midair. And now at the springboard elbow. But no one was home. And Robin Blackstar. Shrugging away, Amber Young, deep knee here, Poison Lana! To the destroyer of the War Maidens! 
And a swift kick to the face here. Madison Miles. Combinations out on display. Kick to the midsection. Oh! Madison Miles! Impressive combination! And now, trying to pile a slam in here. No, Dallas Cole. Able to counter! And to our advance, DDT. Now, BB Cash here. Gonna toss. Robin over the top row. Still hit off a deer leg. Trying to knock her out. They're not gonna have it here. Robin Blackstar. Now has an opening advantage. Off that Northern Light suplex. And Dallas Cole from behind. Toss here again. Oh! Take it down. Cash out! That's five! Five cash outs! Five eliminations! And Dallas Cole combinations out. Ooh! Now going back and forth in between Dallas Cole and BB Cash. Got caught, however. Straight jack and neck breaker! Robin back to her feet. Kick to the midsection by Dallas Cole, who was unafraid of the destroyer. I'll go Warmans! Big knee by Amber Young. Now the takedown and the palm strikes delivered to Dallas Cole. Now shot to the midsection here. Robin Blackstone now gonna toss Rob. Oh, Ruby over the top of her from behind is Madison Miles. Toss her into the corner here. Now trying to hey, look at this. <laughs> Madison Miles trying to force Blackstar out of the ring over the top rope. Robin, obviously. Saving herself from sheer disaster. Oh! Electric chair drop crashing down that top uh, turnbuckle. And Robin Blackstar. Oh! With a slam to Ruby Rebel. And now, ooh, misses with the backhand. And Ruby Rebel. Oh! Able to drop Robin Blackstar. And now, ooh, kick to the midsection here. Ruby Rebel Look at that drop Cole on the back of the dome Red Herring And now oh catching BB Cash Off of that arm drag kicking Oh and the neck breaker A little bit of payback and from behind Headbutt by Robin Blackstar Tossing Madison Miles Who somehow is in the final six Of this carnival frenzy and Robin Blackstar turning her attention to a fellow former War Minutes World Champion who also got dropped by BB Cash. And now BB shot to the midsection looking for it again. Straight check and neck breaker delivered to Ruby Rebel, but from behind is Dallas Cole. Off the side of those suplex. Madison Miles is trapped. Amber Young is trying to eliminate him, but a big shot to the face. And Dallas Cole now, a little bit of revenge touring. Three of the Warmans in this final six will be competing for the vacated Warman Tag Team Champions. Just this a stage dive. Stunner! And Amber Young from out of nowhere to strike a combination of BB Cash. Locking her in. Neck breaker. No! A stiff forearm. Kick to the midsection. Great counter. Amber Young. From behind, locking in! Double knees in the face! And Dallas Cole, German suplex rate counter by Ruby Rebel. Meanwhile, Amber Young getting stopped by Ruby Rebel, but from behind is Dallas Cole. Amber Young once again, the striking combination on display, delivered to Ruby Rebel! And Miles from out of nowhere! Powell has a wrap! Powerbomb Lumblower! Cash out, no! It was saved by the bell! Kick to the face, Ruby Rebel. He's sitting down in the corner, just watching this all go down. Massive Miles, however, oh! Trying to keep herself as relevant as possible in this final six. Rebel being tossed into the row, oh! And Robin Blackstar! Spinning power by the Dallas Cole! Showing Cole why it could be the birds of prey that walk out of the road to mayhem as the War Man Tati champions. The rightful number one contenders were the birds of prey. Cole sent over the top of it, sent out of the ring. Amber Young eliminated the cash out. That's the sixth one, Lung Brewer. And again, Madison Miles tried to eliminate 
Another Lacasso! Number seven. Seven cash out. Five eliminations. Robin Blackshaw. Not giving a damn about the statistics in this match. All she cares about is the dominance. And now finally, we get to see it. Wait, 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 wait. Black hole. I do not envy Madison Miles. Somehow and drop. To Ruby Rebel! Robin Blackstar is a monster in the War Man's Division. No matter what kind of match, no matter who she's against. And just keep this in mind, she's going to be involved with Ladders next week! Could you imagine the carnage that she is going to be capable of? Surrounded by Ladders! But right now everyone's trying to figure out how exactly they're going to eliminate Robin from this match. Madison tried many times on her own to eliminate her. Trying to use her legs to throw her out. And Madison Miles still with the capacity to contain this style of match. A kick to the midsection. BB Cash was quite on the tear right now. Ooh, running into a brick wall. Clothesline! Moved out of the way with Amber. Got caught with a super kick to the shin, but from behind is Robin Blackstar. Turned her into Ruby Rebel. And now from behind now, draped over the shoulders. Oh! Onto the top rope. And Madison Miles still continuing to try the hand of Robin Blackstar and tossing her over the top rope. But Ruby Rebel stopping her from making the elimination. Trying to go for a full Nelson. And Robin Blackstar able to break the grip. And oh! oh, oh, oh! Lung blower powerbomb! By Madison Miles up on the shoulders! Grand slam! And Madison Miles driving the knee into BB! But Robin Blackstar cutting off the momentum quick! This is a playground for Robin Blockstar pop up into the Samoa drop! The height. Do you see the height in which Miles was thrusted into the air? Meanwhile, BB Cash going toe to toe with Ruby Rebel. Look at this, Arena can choke! Locked in on Ruby Rebel right now! BB Cash trying to choke the life out of Ruby. The Rebel with these spiked elbow pads able to break the hold. Now from behind, there goes Amber Young. Oh, milestone over the top. Oh, ooh. Saving herself from the Zets or from behind. Robin Blackstar trying to choke the life out of her. Oh, blow by Ruby Rebel. And now a flatliner. Ruby Rebel going for low blows is crazy. Oh! Drop kick to the inner thighs of Amber Young. And now Young able to find a way to escape here. Now Madison Miles tosses into the corner! And a corkscrew forearm delivered to Ruby Rebel! And keep in mind it was Madison Miles who eliminated Tori Doyle for the War of the War Man's number one contenders match last week! And Miles, once again, to BB Cash, obsessed with hitting her with his lung blower powerbomb. But Ruby, still trying to get back into the groove of things. Amber Young escaping the elimination attempt. A Robin Blackstar, and down goes Young. And the elbows to the face here. Lung blower! And a loop dance by BB Cash! These war meters are insane. Putting on quite the effort here tonight like they do any other night. And now Amper Young with Mass and Miles locked in. Oh! Double forearm and a spinning back roundhouse kick. And 
BB Cash is still locked in. Double roundhouse by Amber Young. Off the handspring, stutter! BB Cash nails Amber Young with another stunner. And a slunk again! Back to back stunners! And Robin Blackstar trying to get BB back to her feet. BB Cash now. Shots in the midsection. Roundhouse kick. Could she be on the verge here? Robin over the top rope! And a cash out! Elimination! Six eliminations! Eight cash outs! Kick to the midsection again! Madison Miles! With another long blower power bomb! And Ruby Rebel catching her hands on Madison. From, oh, from the side here. From behind, is Zambra Young going to toss her into the ropes here. Oh! This time it's Ruby who gets this treatment. The destroyer of the War Maidens survived as long as I would have hoped her for. But BB Cash is on an absolute tear right now. She was so close to call yourself number one contender last week. Eliminating over half of the match. And Amber, having a shot here. And no, 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 BB Cash on the verge of being eliminated by Amber Young. After six eliminations, Amber trying to dash the hopes of BB Cash. A BB driving a shoulder into the ribs of Amber Young and from behind, Ruby Rebel. Doing more damage to the ribs off of that long blower. And Peavy going straight after Ruby Rebel here. Toss it over and off she goes. Seven eliminations. Seven eliminations from Peavy Cash. This is one of the greatest performances in a carnival frenzy I've ever seen. And Madison Miles misses with the knee. We're down to the final three. BB Cash, the VRW Warman Television Champion. Madison Miles and the former Gift of Valor. Former VRW Warman's World Champion, Amber Young. And BB Cash now kick to the midsection. Off the elbow. Dolphin with a backbreaker. And oh, what a super kick from out of nowhere. And now BB ran into the fist of Madison Miles. Kick to the midsection this time. Madison now off of these shots, these punches. Has a locked in. Looking for a power bomb. Almost tossed her out of the ring. As Madison Miles now has her sights locked in on Amber Young. Runs in for a big knee. And Madison Miles on the verge of an elimination. But Amber Young, able to save herself from sheer disaster. Amber now, dragon suplex. That's BB now from behind. Ooh, kick to the midsection. Oh, shot, turning her inside and out here. German suplex. John Murray, back of the head and neck. And a pump kick delivered by Amber Young. And a big knee to BB. We are set to dire straits here. Final three, all for the sake of bragging rights and the reward for helping us reach 150 subscribers. Why haven't you liked? Why haven't you subscribed? Why haven't you hit the bell? Ladies and gentlemen, we thank you. And these final three warnings are putting everything up for your entertainment. Amber Young is eliminated. Eight cash outs, eight eliminations. Massive Miles have never won a singles one-on-one -on -one match before. She's only won tag team matches. Whether it be by Cal, whatever. Madison Miles is in the final two, baby! Who's set to defeat Cora Lee if it's even possible to unify the television and get the Valor Championships the second time this has happened in the history of VRW. And Madison Miles sending BB into the ropes here. Draped against the ropes. And oh, shot to the midsection. BB Cash now being manipulated. Draped over the, the ropes here. And now BB is trapped. BB on the verge of elimination. Hold on, hold on. And now it's all over the top. And Madison's so close. 
So close to PB Cash finding her way out. And PB is rocked. She is drained from all the effort she has put into this match. And again, Madison Miles trying to eliminate PB Cash. It's time in the corner. But PB is continuing to fight. Oh! Off the elbow. Breaking herself up here. Roundhouse kick. Cash out! The ninth cash out! And this will be the ninth elimination! Baby Cash wins the car of Oak Frenzy! Here is the winner of the car of Frenzy! Baby Cash! Redemption from the Warman Championship Frenzy match earlier in the night. BB Cash has set an outstanding record in the history of the Carnival Frenzy match. Nine eliminations that has never been done before. Duke and Dane's out, coming in from number 21. Surviving the last of the fray of VRW War Maidens. Even surviving against Robin Blackstar. And speaking of Robin Blackstar, imagine that coming off of a ladder. It's a possibility it could happen next week at the Road to Mayhem pay-per-view. In which BD Cash also has a presence there, but the presence in this match was incredible despite Massive Miles falling in love with BB Cats and this is probably the reason why she got hit with so many lumbar and power bombs and even missed a big shot knee for Massive Miles. But Robin Blackstar was soon trying to shut that down and this would be a shocking achievement to say the least. The destroyer of the war man is eliminated by BB Cash with the cash out. And Ruby Rubble would try to derail the momentum, but it was already too late. BB Cash is on a hot streak. She took her cash out of the bank, cashed out, and scored herself a tremendous victory in a night full of achievements. Well, ladies and gentlemen, next week is the Road to Mayhem pay-per-view. And like I said, it's a big night for BB Cash, big night for Coralie. One of these two war mans is walking out with both the unified Gift of Valor Championship along with the television championship. One takes all, much like what will happen in this match. A rivalry that started all the way back in October in the finals too. It was Ryan Warzone and Cam Hardy battling for the United Revolution Championship. Ryan Warzone has become the digital media champion. Now he wants to run it back one last time. When it takes all for the, ta for the championships held by both of these war mongols. And speaking of which, let's jump over to the tag team section of next week's pay-per-view. The tag team championships for the Warmongers are on the line. Big Tito and Bobby Bass of New Dawn to take on Evan Wilder and Chase Collins of American Strong Style. The VRW Warzone Tag Team Championship will be on the line. And much like the vacated VRW Warming and Tag Team Championships due to the actions of the Valiant flame. Alice Cherry Bomb has been injured indefinitely and cannot compete. It will be absolution. It will be the undisputed league with claims to the championship along with the number one contenders, the birds of prey. They will be duking things out in a ladder match. But that is not the only tag team affairs we have scheduled for the road to mayhem. American Terror and the Broken Kingdom are not done quite yet. Mason Rex is teaming up with Jane Van Dam in order to take on the married couple of the birds of the Broken Kingdom, Ace and Marissa, looking to take down American Terror once and for all. And speaking of once and for all, we need to define who is the leader of the 
PMD Group Faction, Damian Shelley, does not want anything to do with Jason Ramirez anymore. Should he defeat Jason, he is out of the RW, but if Jason wins, Damian has to fall in line. And speaking of grudge matches, this is a grudge match four years in the making. Raymond Page, who claims he's been doing everything in VRW. Austin Storm has had enough of his nonsense. The grudge is simple. Whether Austin loses and has to give up the prayer for goal or he beats Raymond Page to literally have nothing else to do with them. And this match is just going to be absolutely brutal. Tom Doyle and Alex Haas, two of the most Physical competitors within the War Mongers division. Hell, within VRW in general, these two are going to meet for the first time one on one at the Road to Mayhem pay for you. And finally, it is going to be our main event. This match, however, two years in the making. Jada Storm and Sammy Stone Sammy, who won the World Championship back at Tempo, who has felt nothing but disrespect amongst the war mains. Jada Storm has not gone over her issues with Sammy Stone and is aiming to take the World Championship from her next week at the Road to Mayhem pay-per-view, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you so much for 150 plus subscribers. And we will see you down the road to mayhem next week.